get out the old cruise tools kit. See if we can't fix this particular issue. My cruise tools kit has come in quite handy. Recently, during my sissy bar install, my mobile mechanic Pedro needed a tool for my tool kit. Without my kit, the install may not have happened. Not gonna do it, right? Not gonna do it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go and do it. Now, seriously, if you don't have the right tooling, we can do a non start. Like, I'll do it. I can do it. How did you remove the other one? I used a hand tool, a hex. You had that? Yeah. Bring it on. It's right there in my swing arm bag. Yeah, I probably need that one because I did not bring that. I was not ready for that. Okay. By Ooh, hand. Look at that. This is some good stuff. Yeah. Another YouTuber, sponsor you. <laughs> rec another YouTuber recommended that bag. Even with all the tools he brought, he was missing a vital tool, one that owners of Harley Davidson's need to have in order to work on their bike. The Cruise Toolkit is affordable, and for what you get in comparison to Harley's bike tool roll, it holds its value, especially against their snap-on kit or their larger premium tool kit. The Cruise Tools Road Tech Teardrop Toolkit sells for under $114. And with stores like JMP Cycles offering 10% off additional when you sign up for their email list, you can get it for less. This is my Cruise Tools Road Tech case. Fits nicely into my swing arm bag. So it pretty much has everything that you would need. You've got a uh, screwdriver with Phillips or flathead. You have your wrenches. Some U.S. measurement wrenches, adjustable pliers, some clamps, sockets, mini socket wrench, uh, tire gauge, even have zip ties and got some, looks like uh, some wire, bailing wire. <laughs> uh, let's see, another socket. This came from underneath my stock seat. All right, so I was packing up the stock seat and I did notice something here. This is a wrench and it's mounted underneath the seat. So I believe that's how you adjust your preload for your ride system for the rear shocks. This looks like a good spot right underneath here for that tool and that's where it's gonna stay until I need it. It's got some electrical tape. Looks like it's got a, a spark plug gap um, measurement tool. So not bad. It comes with this uh, little chamois cloth. And I've added this digital fuel pressure gauge with built-in light and tread depth indicator. Which kind of that's by uh, Stockton Tools. It doesn't come with the kit, but fits nicely inside here. And then uh, some swag that I got from a conference, a little LED light. So anyways, all of that fits in the bag nicely. You know, compact case, you know, feels like it weighs about five pounds, three pounds, four pounds, somewhere in there. And most important at all, the best feature is it fits right into my saddle, saddle bag and my swing arm, swing arm bag. And it goes wherever I go. So again, that's Cruise Tools, Road Tech. Uh, I'll link below in the comments on the link. I got it off Amazon. It's good value. Um, I compared it to the price of the Harley branded tools. And uh, this is a lot more affordable. And you got a little bit more, uh, more tools for your dollar. So the ground's going to be a little wet and sketchy as we head to the post office. Now I opened up the vents on my jacket. I noticed in the video that I had my vents that were under the arm open or closed. So I unzipped those and I am feeling, I am feeling a little bit more wind. I think it's a 40 mile per hour deal. Yeah, 35. Post office is right here though. Daniel ain't can. All right. Well, I just opened a post office box recently, so I can uh, 
do correspondence and uh, do sticker exchanges. Let's go check out the post office box. Man, I'll tell you what, a lot of goes into learning how to ride a motorcycle and also motovlogging. Trying to do it at the same time is not easy. Trying to learn how to do both of them at the same time is not easy. Now I gotta remember which box is mine, but I did bring a card. Tell me, 916808. 916832. 916808. There we go. Oh. It's like a scavenger hunt. Leads me to a bigger box. It's like Christmas or Hanukkah. There we go. All right, there's one. Can you quit this? All right. So we got FFN and support good times. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and open these up. Now I always recommend doing local business and does not exclude merchandise, vendors. Look at that, famous for nothing, baby. All right, cool. Yeah, we got some stickers, man. Look at that, famous for nothing, all right. Yeah, they're local to me. They're in the same county I am, so that's pretty awesome. Appreciate that. FFM and then these guys I saw almost immediately on Instagram last year when I started looking for motorcycles and following motorcycle people and I really dig their vibe support good times yeah that's pretty cool I wanted something other than black so I ordered this maroon one Look at that. Chopper shit, baby. Yeah, this one's called the three-way. <laughs> Menage a trois. That's French for three. But uh, yeah, man, some three classic choppers right there. Pretty cool, it's got the little sparklies in it. Snapback hat. Yeah, this is a riding shirt. I got this to ride in. This is really thin material. Good for summer. It's got the embroidered Support Good Times logo on it. So yeah, this is really good quality. Bella Canvas, heirloom jersey. Nice. But I can wear this over my armored undershirt that I got, which I'll be doing an upcoming video on all my gear. Let's see, we got trash here. I think this is all gonna fit nicely in the built well bag. Let's see how we can fill this up just a little bit with some stuff. Gonna unzip that. There we go. And we should have a access to the top. Look at all that space in there. No problems. I could deliver a pizza. But uh, yeah, very cool. Zip that up there. And then bring this one over the top like I had it before. Flap her down. Very nice. Well, I think we need to do one more thing. So, I ordered stickers. Candy Quest Show stickers. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fix one. On the inside of the fairing 
fly screen, aluminum plate, as Pug likes to call it. So we got show right there. Ugh. Got stretch, man. Yeah, if you're a YouTuber and you got stickers, um, I put my P.O. box down below. And uh, if you send me your stickers, I'll send you mine in, in return. And then if you're a subscriber or a curious sticker collector, uh, go ahead and send a self-addressed stamped envelope inside your envelope to me. And I will send back a little swag pack for you, which will include stickers. So now we have to... No left turn, so I have to go around and go back and cross an intersection without a traffic light. It does not look like fun. Try to stay out of the puddles. That doesn't look like fun to me. Well, we got nothing coming there, so potentially. Looks like I'm clear. Hallelujah. Woo! Yeah, I still got anxiety when I ride. I don't know what it's about. That wind hits me. It's supposed to be good for you, right? Yeah. When I get on these roads, man, I get really nervous. Wonder if you guys feel that way too. Yeah. You know, I'm still new, learning how to control my throttle. Like uh, when I pulled into that section, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I gave it a little bit too much, too much throttle. Let me give these guys plenty of notice. A blinker does that sometimes, you know? It kind of cancels on itself before I'm turning. And then I re-hit it and it doesn't cancel by itself. Notice a little bit of light reflection in the Pug aluminum plate. I know that there was a recall on Sportsters uh, for 2021 because the uh, lamp that is stock, which I don't have anymore, was hitting the little uh, eyebrow housing that they have above the lamp housing and it was causing uh, uh, some kind of problem so they did a recall but since I uh, upgraded to the Daymaker I don't have to worry about that apparently let's see if we can find neutral Ooh. did you see it I saw it oh come on the neutral game Brought to you by Harley Davidson. Let's see if we can find that neutral. There we are. Heck yeah. Always turn your bike off with the key and never the kill switch button. So let's see how many miles we got. Right on 300. Look at that. So, I mean, that's not a, a number I'm really proud of, but I did take some time off due to all sorts of things. But, um, all right, so I'm at 300. Milestone is 500 and 1,000. 1,000, I have to take the bike in for service, have it checked out. And then after 500, I can give it the beans. Uh, that's the break-in period. But uh, I'm not even experienced enough, I think, to give my bike the beans. How's the sticker doing? Yeah, so got some swag from Famous for Nothing, local vendor in the chopper scene and support good times. I'll put the links below for those two guys there. You've probably seen them if you've been you know, on Instagram, but uh, they got some cool stuff for the motor motorcycle culture. You know, how many Harley Davidson or Indian or Triumph branded t-shirts can you, can you wear? You know, so support your local independent clothing company. But, you know, try to support local when you can. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Kenny Quest. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching and subscribing and supporting and witnessing my 
coming of riding age, I guess, if you will. So keep the shiny side up. We'll see you next time. Great, you made it to the end of the video. There's more.